a lot of question of everyone about what MCP is about and why is it important and how does it help so you go into uh, agentdickflow.ai you press this button it will because I already log in so it will not go into this one but you can click on this icon it leads to our home page so this is the home page that you normally going to reach when you are visiting our website the first time uh, we are a no-code AI platform that allows you to build agent that handle sales, marketing, and creative tasks around the clock. Um, we have a lot of features, but I think the latest one is MCP that allow you to connect to 2,500 API and 10,000 API tool security. So what you can access, you can click on this button. It will lead you to the website agentlickflow.ai slash MCP. So it will allow you to uh, connect in order to get it. So it is quite complicated, but it doesn't have to be like this one. You just imagine that this is like the tool that you use every day. But right now you can use that tool, but inside AI, so like ChatGPT. So in normal, ChatGPT is only able to think to answer you for some of the tasks, but it cannot do the things for you. So with our API and tool, the AI agent in Agent Flow can have access to your day-to-day -to -day tool so that you can allow it to do different complex things. So let me give you an example. So for example, I'm going here, I search for Google Docs. I will click on this and it will show me that there is a Google Docs MCP and I will click on this one, I will see what it does. So this agent MCP is having like use Google Doc to create, edit, and collaborate online document. If I scrolling down, I see that this Google Doc having eight actions, including create new document from template, append text, replace image, and so on. So these are the action that this MCP include, and we just need to think like what if our ChatGPT will have the access to Google Docs in order to writing a document for us. So let's try it and how we do this one. I will click on try free here. It will lead you into our internal web page. If you are not logged in, it will ask you to log in. And here you can go into the left hand side. This is the MCP server. You can click on this MCP server. And then you can see that I already connected to Google Docs MCP here. But for the sake of the demo, I will do it once again. Okay, I will choose in Google Docs in here again. Uh, if you click on this button, it's going to lead you to the previous page that we already mentioned. But right here, we'll click Install. So in here, it will show you four steps to create this one. So what you need to do is to click on this button. Click on that. It will open for you a new web page you might have to go through the login and creation again, but make sure that you have connect your Google Doc account. For example, in here, I connected to Sean at agentdickflow.ai and there's some small URL here. Just click on this button. It's going to work. You go back into agentdickflow. You see there's a MCP URL underneath here. You click here, you right click and you paste. And of course, I need to name it so that I remember it later. I say Google Docs MCP Sean at agentdickflow.ai and I click add an MCP server. All right, good. So this is the new MCP Google Docs that I have. So now how can I use this agent into my this one? I will click on agent and I see that there's a lot of agent that I already have in here already. If you follow our instruction, you should have it, but I will choose the agent Iris. Okay, so this agent is already have a few functionality already. It has the MCP that I incurred from the previous time, but I will just delete this one so that I can start it over again. And also on this one, I will create a new chat so that you know where, where you start. So when you are blanking this one, you see the number of this MCP is zero. So you can click on add button in here. You see that there is a MCP Google Doc that's shown at agentdickflow.ai here. This is the one that we just link it and then you click add. All right, this is the action that the MCP have, but it doesn't matter. 
you can click on this one and you turn it off on this one so you see the MCP of the Google Doc option at Agentic Flow.ai is here just to make sure the agent is saved correctly you will refresh the agent just make sure okay it's saved here so the agent should have the equip on the MCP Google Doc so get what can we do with that so let's do a small demo I will create a new web page here uh, I will choose uh, maybe I will I will choose uh, docs google.com okay I need to choose the account that I have in here so I create a new bank blank document okay so it's like hello MCP user okay so I put it on the right hand side here so that we can view it together and on this one right hand side and for this agent I'm going to put it on the left so we can see all right so because it's on mobile so it's going to be a bit hard to see uh, i will click on this video and what i will do is that because the agent is already have the access to my google doc so what i will do is i copy this url of the page that i just create and will say hey can you help me to write a poem about how asian big flow with 2000 MCP can help business to grow write this to my Google Docs file please and you paste this one and then you click yes okay so the agent is going to get a document to read that and then it will start to, to do the next thing which is changing the docs okay it's going to append text logic on the right and you can see this is the new poem that the agent had just created so actually you are going to do this like you are kind of like creating the manipulating the google docs with your agent maybe i would just make poem more catchy okay it's going to append text okay you see it's changing this one how about okay uh, add a visual element to the poem okay what it does it's going to create an image okay this is a good image and what it does is that it automatically append the image to the google docs file you can see it here all right let me put it over so that you can see how is the google doc look like so we don't need to operating with google docs file because our agent can access to our google docs and writing on behalf of us so that is super powerful and the beautiful of this one is that this agent is now equipped with a new skill i call it google doc skill and then what i can do from this is i can public this agent to different channel my website my Shopify store my WordPress blog my Magento store big commerce and so on there's so much ability that you can do with this one and I think the MCP is will be a new mechanism because instead of you to understand what this does how many action in here you doing you don't need to learn anything of this you just need to equip Google Docs to the agent and the agent will figure it out that is the normal way that we are doing things right and I think if you go in here you will explore this one for example you click on this one you will see our full list of library about what are the action it can do you go back here you will see that 2500 the app and the opportunity is enormous for us to build some agent that's serving the business you can look into the open AI five core and maybe you can do some kinds of like WordPress yeah we have WordPress here we have LinkedIn yeah we have LinkedIn here we have LinkedIn ad in here we have 2500 API so it's mean a lot everything that you 
would like to look like Airtable just search for that it here click on Airtable you will see that these are some action 48 action that Airtable have and then you can use that in your agent that is simple and what is agent deep flow offer we are the first in the market that support this level of agent automation with MCP I hope that this walkthrough is slow enough and meaningful and clear enough so that you can start with MCP and I believe that this is going to be the, the next movement uh, if you search for MCP keyword it is super trending at the moment but is it in the tech and AI space but with this one I would like to make it bigger so that the wider community uh, that can leverage from that all right good so i think that pretty much it from my side today i'm trying to explain it slowly as much as possible uh, and i hope that this is helpful for you okay thanks a lot have a good day all right let's start about mcp like a month ago i was talking about mcp architecture and right now today we are announcing that agent big flow support 2500 mcp server with more than 10,000 action so I think it's good to explain to everyone what is MCP MCP is stand for modal context protocol it is the new protocol that have been launched in November 2024 by Anthropic the creator behind cloud and this picture is the best example that I can find to explain to you what is MCP about and then why is it important first off talk about MCP client this is the chat application that you are familiar with like ChatGPT, Claude or maybe someone of you are using cursor as your coding tool those are foundational so for a long time MCP or these chat application they can chat with you reasoning but they cannot do things they cannot send an email to you they cannot send a slack message to you or check calendar and so on but with MCP we are going to create a new adapter like you have a MacBook right and you cannot connect to different port but you buy an adapter and then this adapter will help you to connect with other services that can operate with the chat application like Claude or ChatGPT so it's been right now slack gmail google calendar can be interacted with chatgpt and similarly or your local file source as well can also be accessible with chatgpt so this architecture will open up a new area where your ai will not only having in your chat anymore it will have hands so that it will tap into different application that can help you to do this one all right, so I hope that this is clear enough what explanation of MCP is about. And yeah, any question, just please let me know.